because I got completely distracted. I can just hear him on what seems to be a little gurry, but they're going absolutely crazy. Let's go and find out what's happening there. Alright, seems like, my goodness, so much commotion happening. So there's a leopard walking in there. He's gonna pop out in front of the road. Seems to be Hosanna. And now if you hear the Impala, there's another leopard that's just made a kill. So we can't see it from here because unfortunately it's on Little Gauri, but we're gonna stick around and see what happens. Because this Hosanna is going straight onto where this other leopard is. So I wonder if perhaps it's not a kill made by Little Shangile. Oh my God. So he's just going around this way now. He's when in, we he's in front of you. Hey? Right, in front of you? right in front of me yeah. here yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's gonna I'm sure he's gonna go into that other one so when those Impala were alarming we actually came around just to look around and then one of the guys from Simambili actually just found it so when we heard them alarming that's when it, we think that that leopard brought down that particular impala and the impala is still there and so is the leopard i spoke to the guy over there and he's apparently the leopard is still holding on still trying to suffocate the prey so i wonder if perhaps it's not shangile that's around here and that was hosanna that just came around and moved across now i can't see either one of them right now and i could just see a leg i can just see the legs of the impala but it's very very hard very thick so we're just gonna wait here patiently see if perhaps Hosanna is actually going to make his way in that direction. I don't know where he's gone now. Sorry guys, unfortunately they are just south of us on a property that we cannot go, but they're very very close to the boundary, so I think it's really worth it just sticking around and see how this plays out. I can hear the leopard. Louise, you're wondering if most uh, animals eat or hunt at dawn, where a lot of the predators do, lions and leopard in particular, they seem to be more active in low light conditions. So as the sun's about to come out or as the sun is starting to go down. Interesting. Let me just... Um, Justin, I can't go to this other angle. I think it was Hosanna going straight on to where you are. hear a leopard every now and again a bit of a growl I think maybe what do you say Craig let's just go slightly forward and we'll check if we can't see Hosanna somewhere around here and if not then we'll come right back onto this spot just to see what's happening because all I can see is the legs of the Impala like this so we were just right where the action happened I want to go very slowly, see if perhaps we can see Hosanna again. I think he's just also, if he, if the other leopard is there, he's got to be very careful. Ah, there he is, you naughty cat. Stalking. Uh, yeah, Ephraim, I've got visual for of the other one, not the one that you're looking at. So he's not too far, just where this wattle is. Uh, it seems to be Hosanna to me. He's just here by the knob store and he's trying to approach. Okay, Kabi, has he finished bambering that mala? Kabi? Alright, so I. Th I think by the looks of it that this was Hosanna. The other guy is not too sure of who it is that's down there, but I'm sure we'll be able to see. Francis from Israel, you're wondering if brother and sister will share a kill. Um, I don't think they will share it as in too happily, and I think this Impala are alarming now because they've spotted this other leopard. But um, they, if it's Shungile, they could. Although I think he 
he would likely be a bit of a thief and probably just steal it but he's going to be very careful because while Shangile is smaller and might be able to to share the kill if it's another leopard that might not be the case i've lost it Can, did you see where it went yeah okay all right let me just uh i can't see it anymore i think maybe It'll be worth it for a while just sticking around here. Because I can. Okay. So apparently, this other leopard has finished suffocating the impala. So let's just stick around here and see what happens. Ah, oh, it's standing up. You see the the bush? The one where I was showing you earlier where you could see the legs? That's. It does seem like Shangili, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I think maybe a bit to your right. Okay, sorry if you just... Okay, yeah, that one? The the one you've got in the middle? Okay, hang on, let me get my bearings, go a bit to your right. And then straighten. To the back. You see that white dot here? Yeah. Yeah, you've got it. Here. You see the spots here? It is funny because we can see it on the screen, but... <laughs> there we go. It s almost seemed like Shangila for a second there, but I'm not 100% sure. James Richard, thanks. You also, you managed to have a closer look at the spots and you say that there is Hosanna. Well, Alright, we've got one leopard down now. We need to figure out who the second one is. And like I said, it seemed like Shangile to me for just a split of a second. But I could be mistaken because it was just a bit of a glimpse. Alright, there he comes. He's just behind it. Oh my god. Ah, <gasps> there's... Oh my god, there's a hyena! Oh no! Hyena! <laughs> they're pulling, they're both pulling at the same time. Feisty leopards. They don't want to lose their kill to the hyena. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so unfortunately we won't be able to have a look at the leopard because there are too many trees. There we go. But the leopard is definitely not wanting to leave its kill to this hyena. Both of them pulling at the same time. And I wonder if that's why that other leopard left it, because it could hear the approaching hyena. There is a leopard still pulling. Um, oh, I am a bit upset because <laughs> you see it just finished killing this impala there's a leopard I can see the ears still there still trying to pull this is a proper fierce battle they're not going to give up their kill so easily of Denmark, you say it's a uh, tug of war, it definitely is. However, in this case, the hyenas seem to be slightly bigger than those two leopards that we're looking at, and they could easily just take it and run, aw and run away with it. But on on its favor is that the, the they just killed the impala, and I'm pretty sure that this hyena knew where to come because it heard the constant alarm calls for the impala. So now they're, it seems like they're both trying to open it up, probably to get the stomach contents out so they can try and move these, this impala. Oh 
Alright, Ferrari Safari in the distance. What a battle. And the leopard is still there. Guy is still holding on. Will not give up its kill to the hyena. I have never seen this before. I have never seen a leopard refuse. Richard, you say that it needs to take it up a tree. Definitely. However, it's a bit hard because it's still, it's, they've just killed this Impala and it's about 80 kilograms so it's probably still too heavy to try and get it up anywhere. Okay, there's a spot pattern if anybody can figure out which one this is through the branches. I know it's going to be a tough one but maybe this is our challenge for the day, trying to piece together this puzzle. I have never seen a leopard be so stubborn and completely refuse that that was. I think one of the most incredible things I have ever seen. Justin, can you booger a two ingwe or just the one? Okay, Gobby, thanks. I've only got visual of the one that's feeding. Okay, copy, thanks. Alright, so it seems like it's Hosanna, the one that that is giving this hyena a run for its time, refusing to leave this carcass. So maybe we've got a battle of the scavengers, because we also know that he did not make this kill. And the other ones, the other one that we still haven't managed to identify is just behind that tree where they are. So hopefully in the next little while we'll be able to, to have a look, but we'll stick around. Like I said, we're so close to the boundary. You can see some blood on the hyena's face now as well. So you see it's it's opened up the carcass, the hyena. Habib, you're wondering if predators share kills. No. What we're looking at is something very, very unusual. So they're not sharing the kill. I think it's just a matter of they're both of them are trying to eat as much as they can before before they, the kill gets taken away by anything. So they're both, like I said, this is very unusual because this young leopard is being very stubborn and just trying to pull everything away. And the hyena is busy feeding. We can see all the blood on its face. And I'm just so surprised by, by this leopard still carrying on there. And then the other leopard, the one that actually made the kill, still somewhere around. So I think we, were, we just happened to be at the right spot at the right time. I mean, this has been really incredible. Now, like I said, we're very close to the boundary, so we've got a 50% chance that maybe the leopard or the hyena will drag the kill onto this side. Perhaps they'll carry on dragging it further west, and if they do that, we won't be able to see it, but I think we're going to stick around until that happens. Dad, you're saying that you think that the hyena is looking for more hyenas to come and help. Could be, could very well be. Although it hasn't made any calls to try and alert the rest of the hyenas, but it keeps listening around. I think also the fact that it's just one impala, this hyena perhaps just wants this whole impala for itself. It seems like it managed to grab quite a big chunk of meat now. So you see the law of the bush, how tough it is. This poor impala, or this, well yeah, this poor impala because it's now dead. But there's a leopard that has spent who knows how much time just trying to get onto this impala, finally stocked it and brought it down, suffocated it, spent a lot of energy, made a successful hunt only for another leopard and a hyena to come around and start feeding on its kill. 
this wow such an incredible sighting I think Hosanna you get like a thousand brownie points for your fierceness Vic, you're saying that it's great that Hosanna is now able to <laughs> to defend off the hyenas. It is it is quite incredible. I would have never thought that he that a leopard would just pull like that. Because I've seen a wild dogs doing it before, but I've never seen a leopard, especially such a young leopard, to have <laughs> such an attitude towards a hyena. It's been incredible. I'm actually feeling very proud of little Hosanna right now. <laughs> Still no visual of whoever it was that made the actual kill. How's that? Paula, you're wondering who's stronger, if a leopard or a hyena? Well, <laughs> normally hyenas. They, in particular in this case, this hyena is much bigger than the leopard, but I think I don't, I don't really know how to begin to explain this. I think perhaps because this leopard put on such a good fight and refused to give the hyena all of this kill, then that's why it's having a few bites just out of courage and attitude, just fending off a bigger predator. But you can see just, uh, they both know that this is a game that's probably going to end up soon enough and why the both of them are eating so quickly. Just trying to get full bellies before anybody else comes around and I mean, who knows, we might have another leopard popping in or perhaps more hyenas later on. I'm still hoping we'll be able to see whoever it was. Crystal, you think that this is a male hyena? I think so too, just by the fact that it's probably just keeping quiet and not calling anybody else. I wonder if it's not perhaps the same one that was lurking around trying to steal Tandy's kill a while back. Hmm, the fight of the boys it seems it was. You see the hyena is also quite alert, just looking for, keeping an eye out for any other potential creatures that might come this way and you see that it'll feed for a little while, puts its head up, starts listening, glances all around and carries on eating, whereas the leopard it seems like he's just more busy, more intently eating than anything else, just trying to have as much food as possible. Now if it was Shangile, I think she's pretty much given up and she's decided that she's not joining in that strange dinner party that's going on. And she's apparently not too far. The other guys say that they can see her on the other side of the tree. Whew. I think we all need to <laughs> calm down for a second. Um, the sun is going down, so Byron would very much like to say goodbye to all of you. So we'll go back to him and we will sit tightly here and keep you guys updated. All right, it seems like not too much has changed. Every now and again, we see a leopard head. And I'm sure if you look a bit more towards the right hand side, then you'll be able to see some spots moving around. So the leopard and the hyena, they haven't stopped feeding. And I'm sure it's a game of time. They've got to eat as much as they can, as quickly as possible before anybody else comes around. The other leopard, and again, I say the one that made the killer, we're not entirely sure who it was, is not, or we haven't been able to spot it yet. So that still remains a bit of a mystery. But my goodness, what an exciting afternoon we ended up having. Hello, hyena. Looks like an older hyena, potentially as well a male with very torn ears. Seems like it's missing quite a big 
part of his right ear. And you can see the movement there of the leopard just through all those branches. Unfortunately, guys, there's no way for us to, to move around or try to get a bit of a different view. Like I said, they are on a property on the southern boundary. So we've actually been very lucky that we were here at the same time as the other station when they when this leopard brought down this impala. So amazing times, but like I said, let's just um, patiently wait. We'll wait here and see what happens because there's a 50-50 chance that they might either carry on going inside of that property or they might come back onto the road. So surprising though to see Hosanna. <laughs> Sorry, Megan, there was a bit of an interference. Can you repeat the question, please? And Kiki Beth, you're wondering if this hyena, or you're commenting that perhaps this hyena would have already made a call if it were waiting for other hyenas to come around. Um, Yes and no. So if it's something big, then likely hyenas will try to get assistance from other hyenas. But just uh, an impala, it's m it's a great meal for one hyena. So I think this one is actually just being greedy or just actually being smart and doesn't want to share it with anybody else. That's why it keeps raising her its head, just making sure that there's nothing else that's coming onto this particular area or why it hasn't made any calls to to get anyone else to come onto this area. Now and again I hear the leopard growling. I think perhaps when the hyena gets too close to it. Sucker Dash, you're wondering roughly how many kills would a leopard make in a week? Well, it depends. Um, they don't have to eat every day and sometimes when they do manage to get a very good meal like let's say a fully grown impala they can go without food for a few days because they'll have about you see another one sneaking in okay okay good oh my god are they are they both going to start pulling yes now i see both the leopards in the frame but like i wonder if it's not actually three because I see one tail, perhaps it's the tail, and I'm just getting super excited and believe that all of the leopards in the Sami Sun are right here. <laughs> My god. So interesting. Right, I know this is quite tough, and I, we can't really see all that way from here. But if anyone manages to identify these leopards, just please feel f more than free to send them through using the hashtag Safari Live. It would be quite interesting to find out who's here. And I have a strong feeling that this... <gasps> Hello! That this leopard is the one that actually made the kill. Oh god. Try to go... so close to this hyena this is such an unusual sighting and perhaps the camera doesn't reflect it but they're pretty much next to each other so there's not a very big gap in between all these leopards i think maybe half a meter in between all of them This is so unusual. <laughs> no, I wonder who you are. So, we've had a... V wow. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I am hoping that this leopard that's closer to us, that will eventually move a little bit. Paul, pause, you're asking if we think that perhaps this hyena knows that it's a young leopard and that's why it's um, 
feeding close to it or not, pushing it away. Very likely, I reckon an older leopard, something like Tingana, or perhaps Quarantine or Mr. Anderson, they would have been a lot more aggressive towards this hyena than what these two leopards have been. So I think it's probably got a fair idea that it's not facing one of the most, or one of the biggest leopards that there are around here. But it's been highly unusual. I think that's Hosanna at the back still pulling at the carcass and then this other f I think it's a female but I can't, I can't s it's hard to tell perhaps Tandy? I'm not sure Mauricio, you say the leopard looks very small alongside the hyena. Yes, leopards are in general smaller than hyenas and in this case it's a fully grown what we think male hyena and then the two or well one young leopard that we know of. Yeah, um, Andrew visuals about one out of five from this side from Gary Main. Okay, okay, there's a leopard moving, perhaps. Such an unusual sight. It could very well be that this is Hosanna and Tranquila just pulling onto the... Oh, there we go, there we go! Oh, uh, no! Coming to an easier spot. Carry on, carry on. Alright guys, who is this? Stop moving, stop moving! <laughs> Okay, let's... Things I... I'm gonna see if maybe I can have another look. Alright, let's see if we can figure out who this is. I am so excited that I feel like I need to be quieter because otherwise I'm gonna start screaming. I think it's there. Mm. Along. So, back or forth? Okay, Craig from the vantage point can see it, so hopefully we'll be able to... Okay, just let me know where, because I can't... I think I see it, but I'm not sure if it's a leopard or a tree. Like... Okay. Alright, let me... Let me just go forward. Okay. Okay, you can see the white from the tail, then can I back a little bit? Okay, sorry guys, we're just trying to find a bit of a different view. Is that enough or more? Alright, we're gonna give it a bash and see if perhaps we can see it from here, because Craig says you can just see the, the white tail. <laughs> it's 
a bit of a tricky one. They're not making this easy on us, are they? Um, Alright, let's maybe go forward. And then we'll see maybe if we can get a, a view like behind this bush. I see it there through through the gap. Okay, you just keep your head up so we can figure out who you are. <laughs> okay, it's the head is in there. I I know this. There we go. Turn around. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back we go. <laughs> Luckily, I've got no better place to be right now than where we are right now. So, even if we have to do a back and forth Ferrari, it'll be so worth it. Now, apparently, according to the other guy, this particular leopard was feeding on the lungs of um, the Impala. Come on, Wendy, you can do this. Just see the hyena. Okay, and uh, now we see a vehicle. All right, um, maybe the guys are. It's very confusing to try and figure out who's who. The one that I'm pretty sure that we saw, there it is. One of them was definitely Hosanna because we saw him out here. You see, uh, just look for movement. She's gonna come into this open gap here, or it, I don't really know what it is yet. But uh, it's very hard to try and figure out who it is because it's very thick around this area and the other guys are not 100% sure what it was because they say they're not too familiar with the leopards in this particular part of the reserve. Because I did try to ask them and see if maybe they th they knew who it was, but somebody said Tandi and Tamba, but we already know one of them is not Tamba, it's Hosanna. So, I'm not sure. I can't see this leopard anymore. Paula, you're saying that this leopard is really playing hard to get. It is! <laughs> But I feel like that's what all leopards do, but that's why it's so much cooler when we do get to see them. There are some mud wallows behind us, so I want to see if perhaps we get lucky with the... There we go. Is it just a hyena or is there a leopard as well? Yeah. I can just see the hyena feeding as well. Korean family, you're wondering if the hyenas are not full right now. <laughs> um, clearly not. I think maybe there is some space for dessert. So maybe that's why it's carry on feeding. Now I want to keep an eye out here for... Oh, there are a lot of water holes around here, so maybe if these leopards get thirsty, they could come onto our side. From There's quite a lot... Yeah, there's quite a... Oh, yeah. Alright, then this leopard is... Ah, uh, this leopard is... Hyena's not making it easier for us. I just want to maybe try with the spotlight quickly. Just seeing if we can see the other one that was here. And see if maybe we can get another view of this leopards here. There it is. So, we've got one of the leopards there. Now I'm so confused, I can barely tell who's who and what's happening. Now I'm not great with the side patterns. It does. So Craig here is voting for Shongile. <laughs> I think it is her, but I could... Very full belly though. I can hear some bun cr crunching. I think the other one is probably still at the same spot. Let me just go 
forward and go back to our good old spot. I don't know if I, I think I can see a leopard at the back, Craig. Right there, like right behind that vehicle. I don't know what they're looking at, but they're not looking at the leopard. <laughs> oh no, it's a hyena. It's another one. Or is this one that the one that moved? Maybe we've had another hy hyena join the party. I can't see now. Perhaps this is where the leopard was going. James, you say that you think that that female is Tundi. I think that is definitely a good possibility because it looks a bit big to be Shongile. Shongile is quite a small leopard still, or at least in comparison to some other ones. I see some eyes in the distance, but I think it's the hyena. What, what a puzzle of leopards have we got ourselves into today? <laughs> I know, I think maybe I'm gonna have to go back and check some more spot patterns. Now we can hear the crunching of the bones just on the other side, but it's quite hard to, to try and spot them from this side. And like I said, I am hoping that they're gonna come onto the, onto the pan for a bit of a drink and Twindems is right 50 meters away from them at most, so we're really hoping that the guys are gonna get thirsty and maybe come around here But I think the leopards have unfortunately moved a little bit further Into the road and making it a bit more complicated for us to see but let's stick around who knows like we've been so lucky already That there's no point in leaving. We want to know who's who and what's been happening Sorry, there's a vehicle here. We're just letting them know that they can go past No Oh, I think there was a hyena there. Uh, I'm not too sure where we can try and go to make this easier. Because the guys, if they are there, they are clearly looking at the leopards. So let me just see if maybe we can get lucky. Tandi and Hosanna? Maybe it was Tandi and Tamba? Hosanna and Tandi? I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go back and just go look through all the different screenshots to try and see what's been happening. I definitely, when I get too excited, I can't think. Is that a leopard there? Is, that's, no, that's a tree. That looks very much like a lip. I am so upset with that tree. I want to see maybe if I put on my binoculars and look into where the guys are looking at. Whew. Not easy. Alright, I shall try once more. Uh, come, come little leopards. Sally from Oregon, you're wondering if Tandy wouldn't be more aggressive. Well, she would if this was Hosanna Natamba or there's a hyena taking the kill away. Oh, and there's, okay Craig, there's the one leopard that's gonna come. Do you see this gap? It's just on the left hand side. Okay, go to where the light is shining the brightest, right there. No, no, the... Ugh. No, leopard, don't move! Okay, hang on. Sorry, it just went behind a bush. Alright. Mm. Alright, let's just sit tight here. We've got a very good chance of this leopard coming back. So yes, normally Tandy wouldn't willingly share her kills with any other leopard. I think she, perhaps what happened is that she got also taken by surprise. Not only was there another leopard there, but there was also a hyena. So perhaps she was a bit startled and tired. Okay, seems like Craig has managed to see them again. 
I feel like we are stalking leopards now for once. <laughs> okay, there is a hyena feeding. Yeah. Nancy, you're saying that the leopards blend in so well that they could be anywhere. Well, definitely. That's why. Okay, just look where you are to the to the right. Sorry, I'm I'm gonna go slightly forward. That's the face of the other leopard. There we go. It's coming up. Okay, come on, leopard. So yes, they blend in perfectly well. I mean, look at this. If it if it wasn't because we knew there was leopards here already, and because we knew where where to look for, and the movement is normally what gives them away, then we wouldn't even see them. Now I think this particular leopard is stalking that hyena, it seems to have taken an approach and I think it's going to try and steal back some of the kill. There we go! The leopard is approaching, hyena is running, okay hyena carry on coming this way because then you'll bring us the leopard. I think the leopard is perhaps eating some of the scraps of what the hyena has managed to to move around. Okay, we're gonna switch to IR, to the infrared, see if perhaps it works a little bit better, if it gives us more clarity as to what's happening. Ah, it's almost like a thermal camera. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think maybe the other one is gonna work slightly better for now. Crazy. Oh, there's the other leopard cred. Yes, you're so okay. You see, all right. There's the other leopard. Now I'm very confused. I don't know which one's which. <laughs> like a you know running around. <laughs> and there's a leopard lying down. Okay, no, you're standing up once more. I'm just afraid of moving because they might come in this particular direction, so I don't want to spook them. And I just want to. Okay, whoever it is, it's a full bellied leopard. That we know, looking very full. Now I can't see your face, but you've had a very good meal. So amazing. All right, I just want to see. I think there we go. There it's coming, picking up some more scraps of what's been left behind by the hyena. Okay, so it seems like the hyena has left the kill. Yeah, there's a hyena here, and I think it's the same one. And the leopards are at the back, the two of them. Now I wonder if it's the same hyena? Yes, it is the same hyena, also with a very full belly. I wonder where you left the rest of the kill. Right, there's a leopard running at the back. Okay, okay. Let me try going back. Perhaps if I go back. Oh, come, little leopard. I can't see it anymore. Alright, oh, sorry guys, I can't see it anymore. I just saw it carry on in that general direction, so I'm sure it's it's still running around there. But I mean there's another leopard somewhere around here that we can <laughs> that we can carry on waiting for. Seems like by what I can hear from the guys over the radio that there was another hyena on the other side, so definitely two hyenas and two leopards. 
Where? This uh, side. I, I think that's a hyena. Right, one of the hyenas, perhaps one of the leopards is still around there. So definitely one of the leopards is still here and the other one I think is just slowly... There's a leopard now? Yeah. Alright, let me just go slightly back because I think it's gonna come and if we're slightly here then we'll be able to get a view as they come, as it moves onto this area, which I hope that it's gonna do because it definitely seemed like that's the direction that it wanted to go into. I think it's there. I don't know. I could I could be wishfully thinking leopards. No, like roughly where you are. That's where I thought there was a leopard, but I think maybe I'm making it up now. There are just leopards everywhere. <laughs> is that? Is that the hyena slightly to your left? Slightly to your left. Yeah, that's a hyena. Kathy, you're wondering why both leopards are not trying to chase a hyena. Wait, likely the leopards are not uh, related. And probably the hyena has already been claimed itself as the victorious one, running around with a bigger part of the kill. And it's... It's, I think that what we've seen today is quite strange and it's a bit more puzzling even because we don't really know there is a leopard at the back right? walking I think it's a leopard there we go because we don't know how closely related they are Whew. off it went so it is I think we've, we've seen some uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually <laughs> running out of out of loss of words i think we've seen something that's very very unusual i don't think it was shangile perhaps it was something i'm a bit more inclined to say that it was an adult female and we saw hosanna coming around and then just trying to pull the kill from from this hyena and then the hyena and both of them feeding off the carcass and then at one point they were all so close to each other which is highly unusual i mean everything we've seen this afternoon we just happened to be at the right place at the right time and it's been incredible i mean Wow, it's it's been a proper puzzle of leopards this afternoon. Oh, I'm still hoping that one of them might come our way. I think, however, that both of them have moved into thicker vegetation. But my goodness, what a... There it is. Oh, I just saw the eyes. No, it's funny because this leopard seems to be following the other leopard. Crazy. Okay, come, little leopard. Come in this way. Sorry, guys, we've just got a vehicle passing by and I don't want to blind anyone. You can come this side. Oh, right. <laughs> How's it, service? Hello. Hello, Tips. Yeah, nice, nice to see you too. Right. <laughs> yeah. Line? Yes, we are. Uh, what's your name? Ali. Okay, well, Ali. Cool, we shared a sighting, guys. A very yeah, special man. one. Yeah, All right. Seems like the leopards are definitely gone. I just see the vehicle lights for the rest of the people that have carried on driving far away from us. So you see them all the way in the distance and unfortunately we can't follow in that direction. Holly, you're saying that all we need is Tingana to show up. <laughs> I think if that happened, I would die of a heart attack, so I don't know if I can take it. My goodness, what an incredible sighting this was. I think this has been just so unusual in terms of behavior, and the hyenas, and the leopards, and the pulling, and the pushing, and it's just been wonderful. I think, guys, we got very, very lucky today. Incredibly lucky. Just to see the mystery of what happens around Baboon Pan. This, well, you see, we set up with very little expectations and this was great. <laughs> Vambo girl, you say my lucky beans are back. 
I don't know what it was, but I'm just gonna thank all the stars and everything that allowed us to have such an incredible sighting. This was unreal. It was, it was great. It really was. But I think now we're gonna start heading away from this sighting. It was an incredible sighting and unfortunately the leopards, I can still see the lights of the vehicle carrying further west into, this, into the, um, the thickets. So.